It's Monday and Fresh This Week is officially underway. Arrivals weekend is over and everyone is settled in, ready for the exciting week ahead. In today's show, we'll be taking a look at yesterday's arrival and showing diary of a fresher. As well as special edition of Sugar TV. I'm Claire. And I'm Justin. Yesterday proved to be a very busy day for four of the campus colleges. Lonsdale, Fylde, Pendle and County moved in yesterday. We hope that all the freshers have settled in well and are getting to grips with cooking for themselves. How did you find it, Justin? Oh goodness, the first time I cooked it was horrible. I, uh, <laughs> I was just chit-chatting chit -chat away to, um, to all my new flatmates and stuff and I put a pizza in and I completely forgot it was in oh the oven. Oh my god. And it just got burn and smoke started coming out and it was oh, just no. before the fire safety talk as well. <laughs> Did the fire alarm go off? Yes, it was so <gasps> embarrassing. Did everyone have to be evacuated? Yes. Oh, oh it was all your fault. Days. <laughs> so embarrassing. I just lived off microwave meals and tinned stuff and porridge. Standard so. student life, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing could set on fire. <laughs> well, that's good. But, well, let's see how moving in day went yesterday for this year's freshers. Hi, so I'm here with three fellow Lonsdalian reps for today. How's it going so far? Yeah, we're doing all right, yeah. 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 Has it been busy? It's been buzzing. It's been yeah. definitely been the busiest college on campus. Oh, has it? But the best as well, right? Yeah. No, the rest of them have been a bit like um, quiet and morbid and just seems to be Lonsdale the only one that's lighting yeah. things up, yeah. Yeah, what would you say is the big night to look out for for Lonsdale? Um, what would we say? I think pre founders is going to be pretty big. Um, you know, we've got the rivalry between Boland, it gets pretty hyped. What it is, what it does, what it is, what it is. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie kid. Fresh shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious, somewhere between like rock. We're here with Kian, the men's sports rep for Pendle. So, how's it all going in Pendle today? It's really exciting. We moved a load of people in this morning. It's sort of a steady flow now, but uh, we're sort of running around all over the place giving out Fresh's wristbands. I can't wait to meet them, really. I'm going to meet them later on. Yeah. What's the most exciting part of Fresh's repping, would you say? Um, I'd say just all the new people. It's all the possibility. There's a possibility this year you could meet your best friend for life, you could meet your life partner, and there's just like, there's so many people that you can um, sort of give the best time of their life to. I'm here with Katie, VP for Welfare and Community for Pendle. How's it going today? It's going really well, yeah. Everyone seems quite enthusiastic, quite excited, so it's good. And have you met your freshers yet? I've not. I've not met anyone in my block yet, which is quite worrying. <laughs> so what time have you got to meet them? Uh, we've got about an hour between all the events tonight to meet them. And uh, have you got much planned for tonight? Anything exciting here at Pendle? We've got a basement party at Pendle tonight. Like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling Where 
we're joined by Jamie, comms officer for File College. How's it going so far? Uh, so far, it's been really, really good. I've met loads of the freshers and they are fantastic. Um, really excited. Tonight, we're uh, staying in Fold Bar for a little bit of a party. Cannot wait. And uh, we've got, throughout the week, we've got a Thai full moon party, which is going to have a UV paint party as well. And that sounds amazing. We're here with Aval Rowe, the international officer, and Jazz and Chris, who are fresh as reps for County. So, guys, how's it been going today on your arrivals day? All fantastic, lots of smiling faces, and uh, yeah, all good. It's hard work moving all the luggage up the stairs. Like, How many people have you had to move in today, then? Oh, I don't know, uh, quite a few. Like, Plus 10, like more than 10, yeah, like 12 or like 15. About 20, 30 people. That's a lot of trips upstairs stairs then. So it's, it's keeping you fit then, yeah? yeah. <laughs> and tonight, what are you guys up to then? Uh, well, today is going to be the welcome assembly talk. That'll be about at uh, 5. And then after that, they'll be heading to the bar for refreshments and uh, just a quiet night tonight. Yeah. Quiet night. Well, it all looks like it went smoothly in the end. Yup, it does. We followed four freshers closely as they moved into their new accommodation. While we'll be showing you this, we've been given a challenge by the lovely production team. Yes, we have. Been told that we have to give each other a makeover. As Chris Green mentioned yesterday, one of the big nights at Bolin is a charity shop night where they have to go to a charity shop and buy clothes for each other. So during this next VT, while you're catching up with the freshers, we'll be straight off there with a five pound note as we try to clothe each other on the orders of the producer. Oh dear, I am very nervous about <laughs> this. <laughs> what are you hoping for? I'm hoping for something not very revealing. That's, uh, let's just keep oh it at God. that. <laughs> what are you oh hoping dear. for then? Um, like, oh, something not too bad. Something not too bad. Like a little black dress. A little black, okay, a little black dress should, should be good. You know, oh. I can wear it again. Yeah, exactly. Oh it. dear, I'm very <laughs> excited about this. But I do love going to the charity shop though, isn't it? Yeah. It's just amazing. You find yeah. so many things in there. You can find some good things if you have a good rummage. Yeah. And, and it's so cheap. I know, right? Oh, and them law books in there, it's like for 350 And when you buy them yeah, like that's the bookstore, it's 30 pounds. And yeah. textbooks are just so cheap in there. It's a good place to go get your academic books, isn't it? It is, isn't mm. it? So, uh, here is the VT. Here we go. Baby, I'm playing on you tonight. Hunt you down, eat you alive. Just like animals, animals, like animals, moles. Maybe you think that you can hide. I can smell yourself for miles. Just like animals, animals, like animals, moles. Baby, I'm My name is Kieran Holmes Darby. I'm 18. I'm here at Lancaster University to study law and criminology. Um, I'm huge on sports, and that's about it for me. <laughs> Great. So, how was the journey up to Lancaster? Uh, quite long. We've come from uh, Lincolnshire, so it took us uh, between three and four hours. Uh, but it was smooth, uh, and the the campus is just beautiful so when we got here I was I was excited. What was it like moving in? Not as stressful as I imagined actually because um, the we got lots of help from all the Lonsdale freshers reps and things so it was it took a couple of trips um, but also my room's quite close so moving in unpacking was a little bit more stressful but I got a lot of help from my family and um, I'm really happy with my setup so. Great. Have you met all your house, all your flatmates yet? Uh, met a couple because I'm I moved in quite early, so I've met um, two, uh, but not everyone yet. So I'm excited to meet everyone and see and okay. see everyone tonight. 
What do you think of your college? What do you think of Lonsdale? It's clearly already the best college on, on campus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not that I've been told that by a couple of the reps, but um, no, I love it. It's, it's such a nice area of the campus as well. So. And what do you think of the Freshers' Week plans? <laughs> they sound amazing. Uh, tonight sounds fun. Um, the classic baked potato night which i'm looking forward to uh and um but no the whole week plan uh looks looks really fun so i can't wait what are you most looking forward to probably the pre-founders night because obviously i'm big on sports and boland come here and so it'll be interesting the bands will be good um and i'll hopefully play some sports against them this year so that'll be good that'll be interesting I'm Sam Fletcher, I'm 19, from Windsor in Berkshire, most commonly known as the home of the Queen or as the home of Legoland. Unfortunately, the latter is often the most recognised. Um, how was your journey to Legoland? Oh, awful. It took us eight hours because the M6 was closed. You shouldn't have to travel eight hours anywhere, I mean, constantly, but yeah, no, it was... It was not fun. My parents were on the verge of a divorce, I think. Uh, you know, but I'm here now. So. And uh, what was it like moving in then? Fun. I think I was the first person in my flat, so I mean, I didn't have to immediately go around like, oh, hi, I'm have Sam. Have you met them yet? I have, yeah. No, they're sitting just behind the camera over there. They look like they're having a great time, missing out by the looks of things, but, but yeah, no, they all seem nice. Uh, they've all taken gap years or whatnot, so I've got a lot in common with them. I didn't really know a lot about it. I mean, it was completely course orientated. Like, I had no idea about the, the grounds or anything. I didn't realize it was such a campus university. But yeah, I mean, I chose Lancaster because of the course, and it hopefully will work out on that part. And uh, what do you think of your college so it seems nice. I have no idea what the parameters of it are. Like, I went for a stroll earlier with my parents and ended up in every different college at some point, like, within five minutes. So I don't know how close everything is or... But I'm sure I'll figure it out in the next couple of weeks. And what do you think of the Freshers' Week plans? Freshers' Week plans. I know that I have to go out dressed as a Smurf one day. So... We'll take that for what it's worth and, and just hope that that's going to be a good one. The college bar crawl should be good as well. I mean, it is all worthwhile, you know, it'll be good. Hi, my name's Daisy and I'm from Somerset. I'm in Pendle College and studying MSI Geography. Great. How was your journey to Lancaster today? Because uh, it's so far from Somerset, I broke the journey by travelling to Blackpool first to stay with my uncle. Um, the traffic was crazy because of the road works in the M6, but because it was two days, I found it okay. And I know from ex like, talking to my flatmates, some people have had much worse experiences. So how was it like uh, moving into the flat? Um, the freshest met, reps met me at the door and it made it really easy. Um, so my mum stayed around for a bit and we unpacked together. And then I sat in my flat and talked to everybody. Um, I found it really easy because everyone's in the same boat and I asked all my new friends if they've met anyone before at Lancaster and none of them knew anybody. So it was really nice that we could all like, start afresh together. Good, so have you met everybody in your flat? Now? Yeah, we've met everyone in the block and in the flat. Good. And we all walked around. What do you think of Pendle? Um, I think Pendle's really sociable and friendly and it was nice that everyone feels like a team because it's called uh, it's a venue of legends and you feel like you're actually part of something that's proud to be an organisation. So I think it's it's really good that it's um, so welcoming and like a yeah. family actually Pendle already. Is, Pendle is one of the proudest colleges. Mm. What do you think of the Freshers Week plans? Um, I think they look amazing. There's so much on. Um, there's something like every night. There's, I love fancy dress. There's something every day. Um, and we're told really far in advance on Facebook all the, the pictures that came out and we've had loads of emails from the university. So I think it's, there's so much on and so varied. There's something for everyone. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm most looking forward to the bar crawl around campus. That but in the daytime there's block wars and uh, like treasure hunts and things which I'm looking forward to too. Good. Why did you choose Lancaster? Uh, I chose Lancaster because it's a long way from home and I wanted to grow up and move out. Uh, the league table said Lancaster is really good and I was recommended it from a friend. Um, and I chose it because it's near the Lake District but also mainly because it was far away from home. I like the idea of campus and most of all I like the idea of collegiate universities. Well, <laughs> you didn't want anything too revealing, 
<laughs> well, this is exactly what I had in mind. You know, <laughs> this is just the ideal outfit I I wanted, and I mean. Look at you! I, I'm loving this whole. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> we got a nightgown <laughs> thing going on. We have, yeah, a little nighty. That yes, is. let's come on, stand up and give us uh, a whirl. Me, yeah, me, ooh, and the mask as well. Oh my god, go on, Justin. Oh dear, right. Okay, let's just make sure I don't show anything too inappropriate. <laughs> It does suit you though. Thank you. I, I, you know, I might keep this just as a, you know, regular nightgown that I can wear and go to bed. This is really comfy. I'm not gonna lie. It's really comfortable. Yeah, but it's very soft material as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, but you do love the charity shop. I, I, I love it. Yeah. I'm... I mean, this mask was only a pound, and a, uh, and it's a uh, Halloween soon. So exactly. It's gonna be very cheap Halloween if you go to the charity shop. Imogen, we were just found in the, you know, in the Halloween box, and mm. all those books as well, any books and cups yeah. and those fancy stationery we saw as uh, well. Oh yeah, the flip out pens. Yes, how yeah. cool are they? How much are they, like 50p? <laughs> they were 50p for two, I think. And oh, that's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad, bad at all. And they just have so many things, like plates yeah. and cups. and. Yeah, and the books, like you said, like for like five pounds. Yes. And really ugly clothes. <laughs> Well, some some things are quite nice. Some things some are quite things. nice. Well, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was embarrassing. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, there was quite quite a lot of Halloween stuff, wasn't there? So there's a, yes. <laughs> a very claw. That was a, that was a blonde wig. That was blonde a blonde wig. That was that was oh, a crazy wig. I should have got you that. Oh that would have gone with you. You know, we, we we could have had blonde hair together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Match. Oh yes, <laughs> and now as you all know, the first night of Freshers Week can get a little bit crazy. Was your night memorable, Justin? Actually, my night was rather memorable because I went to bed at 10.30. Uh, <laughs> we sat around our kitchen, everyone stayed up to like 12.30, 1 o'clock, but mm. I was just so tired, I was jet lagged. Oh. So uh, we sat in the kitchen drinking and we were just drinking and playing um, drinking games and uh, I went to bed at 10.30. Oh. Standard bowling then. Oh, uh, alright. I can't even, as a Lonsdalian, I can't even remember my first night. Ooh. It was potato night, and all I remember is queuing up for the potato. <laughs> and that is it. That's all I remember from that night. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we went around campus last night and caught a peek at how each college was enjoying their time. Here's the footage we got from that. It's the second day of arrivals and the first night for many freshers. We're starting here at Lonsdale Bar to see how everyone's settling in. Can't be sleeping, keep on waking without the woman next to me. Guilt is burning, inside I'm hurting. This ain't a feeling I can keep. So blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. Hey guys! Finding Lancaster. Oh, it's amazing. It's awesome. yeah. I love it. Are you enjoying Lonsdale? Yes, best college ever. Blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. So blame it on the night. And um, are you looking forward to freshers? Are you going to be attending much? Yeah. 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 Freshers rev, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are you enjoying that? Well, I've only been doing it one day and it's been knackering, but it's good, yeah. Friendship groups forming, it's, it's, I'm tearing up really. 
Yes, I have. It feels like Samir Lancaster University. Be friends. There's a lot of responsibility. Are you fishing? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah. How are you enjoying fashion? It's good. You're not very talkative. She's not very talkative, is she? It's been a fantastic night for Sugar TV on campus. Not quite a typical Sunday roast. But it's been a fantastic start to Freshers. Well, last night was a lot of fun for new Freshers, but they have a whole week ahead. Each college has loads in store for tonight. Here are a few of the plans. It is the big night out for Boland, Furness and Cartmel. County, Lancer and Grad College will not go unseen on campus as they do their bar crawl before heading out to town to the glow rooms. An alternative night for County is the chocolate chill out mocktail making night and Vanessa's is a trip to the castle. Penda will be having a witches and wizards bar crawl. Fowd will be having a frat party versus Oktoberfest at Hustle and Apothecary. And finally, Grisdale are having a big night on pub golf. Well, that show went fast, but unfortunately that's all we have for today. We have loads more planned for tomorrow's show, which is at 11am again. Please tune in. Goodbye for us for today. Bye, and we hope to catch you around campus on LA1TV.